Hi guys, it's Rach and it is time for June favourites. You guys should know that you guys are always my favourite. I feel like I never actually remember to say that, but you are my favourites. I'm also going to be sharing with you today some of my makeup favourites, my skincare favourites, I have a nail polish favourite, um, some hair care favourites, some like a video favourite, a book favourite. I just, I have a lot of stuff that I've really, really liked. So I'm going to jump straight in and tell you guys about it, starting off with hair care favourites since I don't generally have a ton of them. I have a new shampoo and conditioner that I've been enjoying quite a bit. This is the Moisture Plus Vitamin B5 Shampoo and Conditioner from OGX. You guys know that I am a absolute lover of herbal essences. I just always try other ones and always go back to them. I have yet to find another brand of shampoo and conditioner that I enjoy as much as the herbal essences range, but these ones are awesome. I have really noticed that my hair has felt really soft when I get out of the shower and my hair is naturally quite soft. It does have a bit of heat damage, but to be honest, I don't color it. I don't do a lot to it. So it, it just naturally doesn't have a lot of issues. It's not too unmanageable, but this, I actually notice a difference. My hair feels soft. It smells really, really yummy. It reminds me of a Victoria's Secret perfume or like one of their body product scents. I'm not sure which range. It might be like the P Pure Seduction or maybe mixed with something else. It has like a tropical seductive scent. If that makes any sense at all, clearly my uh, scent description is a really improving. For some skincare favorites, I have a product from a brand called Zekin. Zedkin. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but it's a certified organic brand. This is their Line Smoothing Serum. It has a little pump and it's just like a really thin serum, but I do feel like it's doing a decent enough job at like tightening the area under and sort of around my eyes. I am not showing a ton of signs of aging yet, but where you can see is these little wrinkly bits right here, right under like my lashes. They drive me nuts. They make it like really difficult for concealer and like for putting shadow underneath there. And this stuff I'm just, I'm using and I'm hoping that it's working for me. It does feel like it's doing something. It's a nice product. I like that it's um, natural and organic. It does have quite like a natural smell to it, but when you put it on your eyes, you, you can't smell it. So it's fine. And I believe it's Australian made as well. So thumbs up for that one. My other skincare product is more on the pricey side of the spectrum. Um, if you follow me on social media, you know that I recently purchased a whole heap of Sunday Riley skincare. It's something that I've wanted to try for such a long time and I've held off a lot because of the price um, aspect. Sunday Riley is available in Mecca Cosmetica here in Australia and my favorite for the month is the Good Jeans treatment. This is supposed to brighten, exfoli exfoliate, plump lines, even hyperpigmentation and increased circulation for instant radiance around the face. I apply it at night time. I also apply it in the day um, and I just find that it leaves my skin, like I noticeably felt a difference in my skin. Maybe not like visibly, but I could feel it. Um, and I think that's a good thing. I do feel like my skin has evened out in tone. It just feels nice, like the texture overall. Unfortunately, I recently got quite sick. I was sick for a good two weeks and um, I, during that time I broke out like crazy. It wasn't right after I used this, so I don't attribute it to any sort of skincare products. It, it started when I got sick and I, I do attribute it to that. So unfortunately, I can't show you my gorgeous radiant skin at the moment, but I do think that this is working quite well. and. I am hesitant to sort of talk about any of the skincare products yet because I feel like you need to give them a decent amount of time, but I noticed a difference pretty much straight away with this, so I feel comfortable enough that you should at least grab a sample of this and maybe test it out if it's within your budget. Okay, moving on to my makeup favorites of the month. I have a foundation. It is a drugstore foundation from CoverGirl, the Ready, Set, Goal... Good. The, the, the. Let's try that one again. The Ready Set Gorgeous Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. I use the shade 115. This stuff is great. I feel like it just it has great coverage. It feels nice on the skin. It has decent longevity, and it's really inexpensive. Great little travel friendly packaging, and I'm I'm really really enjoying that one. I think the only thing that might be a bit of a letdown for this one is the shade range. But if you can get a shade that matches you definitely worth checking out. It's, it's become one of my favorite drugstore foundations and it's just, it's quite unassuming. For the eyes, I have been loving this Vizart Matte or 01 Basics palette. It's their matte 
palette, the original matte palette. I finally succumbed and bought this uh, earlier in the month and I just, I can see why everybody raves about it. If you don't have a ton of eyeshadow or if you're not a particular like connoisseur of eyeshadow formulas, then you maybe be able to skip this one. There are cheaper matte palettes out there that do the job, but these are super buttery, super pigmented. They have a great selection of colors, both warm and cool tones. They blend amazingly. And if you have the money to spend on a palette like this and you really do like your mattes, um, then I definitely think that this one is worth checking out. Also for the eyes, I have a new mascara favorite. Last month I mentioned the Max Factor Masterpiece Transform Mascara. This month I have like the sister product of that, which is the Masterpiece Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 Volumizing Mascara. I really, really like this one as well. To be honest, I can't tell a ton of difference between the two, but I think they're both fantastic. This one actually has um, some little fibers in it, so I think if length is what you really want then maybe give this one a shot it might sort of do a better job than the other one of giving you sort of some extra length but I think they're both fantastic I love the small wand I love sort of what they do for your lashes I am wearing it today both on my top and bottom lashes I don't find that it smudges on me I find that it lasts all day it doesn't flake I just, I think that they are a really great, affordable mascara. Then my last eye favorite is an eyeliner. I think I mentioned this before in a favorites, but I can't 100% remember. It's the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner Plus Serum in Ultra Black. This has been my go-to liquid eyeliner. I do wear liquid liner and winged liquid liner quite a bit, like, let's say, like, 85% of the time I wear it to work most days. Um, I just, I really like that look and I'm, and I just generally think that it suits my eyes and my eye shape. It's just what I like. I don't know why I feel like I have to explain that. Anyway, um, this one is a pen applicator, flexible brush tip, does a great job. It's black, it's opaque, it's long lasting. The only thing I'll say is that I find that the pens run out. Same with the Maybelline Master Precise, which again, I still really, really love. These don't seem to last a very long time, um, so you do have to repurchase them fairly regularly, particularly if you use them as much as I do, but it's a great little product. I get mine off of iHerb because you get it at the US recommended retail price, which is a little bit cheaper than buying it from Priceline here in Australia. I do always have an iHerb discount code in the description box if you've never purchased from iHerb before and you would like to uh, get a discount. Okay, moving on to the cheek favorites. I have two blush favorites. The first one is a new one. This is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Pop in Ginger Pop. So not new to the market, but new to me is what I meant. I love these Cheek Pop Blush Pop blushes. Is that what it is? Yeah, Cheek Pop Blush Pop blushes. They have a gorgeous like satin finish to them. And this ginger shade is a really nice kind of corally color. It's not what I usually go for. I automatically gravitate towards like pinks or like berry shades or mauvey shades. But I find that this one is actually really, really flattering love it and then my old favorite it's actually what i'm wearing on my cheeks today it is the benefit rocketeur blush and this one i have had in my collection for a while and i always like put it away and forget about it and then i get it back out again and think why did you put this away you love this you should use this all the time it is amazing um it's just like a it does have a satin finish to it too it's kind of like a, a rose rose goldy kind of neutrally shade it smells like like floral almost a bit like grandma-ish but I, I like it anyway okay moving right along to some lip products particularly this first lip product is probably my ultimate favorite of the month out of all my favorites it is what I'm wearing on my lips today it is the Laura Mercier now let me get this right paint wash liquid lip color in the shade rosewood so it is your liquid lipstick type formula not one that sets to a matte finish but one that is fully opaque, has a, a really nice doe foot applicator, it's easy to apply, I can apply it with this on the run, I don't need a brush or anything like that, it's quite a thick formula so it doesn't sort of bleed into lines but it's not sticky at all, it's completely opaque and I just, I adore this kind of really deep rose brown shade, I'm all about this colour at the moment. Love it, love it, love it. I love the formula. I love the texture. I love the feel. I love the packaging. It is a great product from Laura Mercier. Quite long wearing too. I find that it has like unlimited pigment, if that makes sense. Like I can like drink out of a cup and I'll see it on the cup and think, oh, 
it's going to be all rubbed off. And then I look in the mirror and it's still completely there. And then I'll do something else. I'll eat and I think that it's gone off again and it's still there. I don't know how it does it. My other lip favorites of the month, I have like a nude lip combo. It is the Clinique Nude Pop. Oh, it's the Lip Color Plus Primer uh, Lipsticks. I don't know what the name is. It's like got so many names to it, but it's in the shade 01 Nude Pop. I really like the packaging of these. I love that it's got the actual sort of like color on the packaging. And this is just a great nude lipstick. You can wear it on your on its own. You can wear it over the top of like a lip liner, with liner, without liner. It has a nice kind of sheen to it. It's very, very comfortable to wear. You can sort of sheer it out a bit if you want. It's just like a your lips but better kind of color. Really, really enjoying that one. The price is the only thing that gets me. I think these are about $40 here in Australia. Oh hate that but other than that it's a really really nice product my other nude lip favorite is the Too Faced perfect lips perfect nude lip pencil this has gotten a lot of play on youtube recently and it's just a nice long wearing lip pencil that's a nice like your lips but better kind of nude color i've been really really enjoying this one i'd be interested to try some of the other colors uh, from this perfect lips range. I think there's like maybe three or four other shades. So that rounds off my makeup favorites. I do have a brush favorite. This is from Furless. It's part of their body contour kit, I believe. So it's four brushes that are for your body. I tend to not use a lot of makeup on my body, but this one is number BC4. And I really like this one for contouring. It's just a really nice size. As you can see, it's like a dome, but it's not super big. If I can compare it to um, what can I compare it to that you guys will know? Okay, so this is the MAC 109 brush. So as you can see, it's quite a bit smaller, but it's not as small as, say, a like eyeshadow brush or something like that. For those of us who um, want to have like a, a sharp contour, but don't want it too sharp because we don't naturally have a lot of indentation here, I have like round baby face syndrome. So um, I want to give myself cheekbones, but I don't want to give myself a tiger stripe. And this is sort of the right size and softness for me to be able to like buff contouring powder in there really like just like the brush and the way they feel in general have a nice um, tapered tip really really enjoying that one and furless is an Australian brand which is cruelty free so that's great as well my nail polish love of the month has to be Essie's chin chili nail polish this is just a gorgeous gray grayish taupey slightly lilac -y shade really really love this one I wish I had it on my nails right now and I've been wearing it like for 90% of June so it's really unfortunate that I don't have it on my nails right now but I will insert a picture of it here and I would like to do like a chic neutrals kind of favorites nail polish video if you guys would enjoy that because these are the colors that I tend to gravitate towards if I I'm not wearing like a dark crimson or maroon color. I go for just sort of neutral colors and I have quite a few favorites. So if you'd like to see a video um, me showing and talking about and maybe I'm um, like sort of swatching all uh, my favorite neutral shades, let me know. But this one is a favorite of mine. Absolutely adore it and um, definitely worth checking out. I do really like it with my Sash Feet uh, nail top coat over the top of it just to make it last longer because I find that in general Essie nail polishes aren't the most long wearing particularly on me because I'm pretty rough with my hands but with this top coat they, they can last me uh, almost a week which is really good for me anyway for a book favorite this month I have to say it's Sincerely Carter by Whitney G really really like this one it's kind of like a new adult adult romance novel it's a uh, best friends kind of turned lovers kind of story thoroughly enjoyed that one thanks for the recommendation Christina I, I absolutely love that one would recommend you check that out if you guys generally enjoy uh, the books that I recommend I do need to get back into making book chat videos I'm really really behind on that I apologize for those of you who have been requesting them I'm going to try bringing them back very very soon but in the meantime check out that one for my tv show favorite I'd probably have to say Pretty Little Liars on Netflix I've been watching that. I kind of went off it for a bit and then I'm back on the bandwagon now. I just kind of got busy and wasn't able to watch it anymore, but I'm still sort of pushing my way through. I'm not quite caught up to where the rest of the world is yet, but I'm getting there and I'm really enjoying that. And then lastly, I wanted to mention a couple of video favorites. I thought that it'd be fun to add a favorite video for the month or a favorite YouTuber or just somebody that I've been enjoying 
watching because I do watch a lot of YouTube videos as well. I am not only a creator but a watcher as well. And this month I wrote down my favourite video had to have been Beauty Life Michelle's Boyfriend Does My Makeup Tag. I laughed so much at that. Her boyfriend was such a trooper. He he seemed to take it seriously but they also just had a lot of fun together and uh, I just I genuinely enjoyed watching that video. So if you haven't seen it or you aren't subscribed to Michelle, she's awesome. I'll leave a link to her channel and that video in the description box below. And then my second favourite video was Ingrid's uh, coming out video. That made me tear up like crazy. It wasn't something that I had expected and I have been watching Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi from pretty much since the beginning of when I started watching YouTube beauty videos. I've been watching her for a very very long time so um, just watching that and seeing her and the way that she speaks it's just it really sort of touches you emotionally so if you haven't seen that I will link that in the description boxes below as well but I just was just sort of so proud of her and I didn't even know her but um, it was just it was really sort of heartwarming to watch and it really like was emotional so I wanted to mention that one as well and that is it for my June favorites I hope you guys have enjoyed hearing about my beauty loves and also my other random things that I've been enjoying please share what you have been loving what have been your favorite things in the comments below I get a ton of recommendations from you guys for both um, beauty products and then just other things that I've been enjoying whether it be books or um, movies or food or whatever I love hearing from you guys and hearing what you are loving also if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe uh, so you don't miss any of my future videos and other than that I hope you're all just doing really really well and I'll see you all next time bye